हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन द मेमरी बेस क्वेश्चन टूडे वी विल डिस्कस द फोर्थ लेक्चर ऑन दिस मेमरी बेस क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू द सी एस आर नेट दिसंबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी मैथमेटिकल स्टडीस्टिक्स द लास्ट टू लेक्चर्स लास्ट थ्री लेक्चर्स इज अवेलेबल ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल डॉक्टर हरीशकर एंड द प्ले लिस्ट इज सी एस आर यू जी सी नेट यू कैन सी ऑल दीज लेक्चर्स आर अवेलेबल विद द हेल्प ऑफ द शॉर्टकट पिक्स अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैम देर आर मैनी अदर लेक्चर्स विच इज अवेलेबल एट माई दिस प्ले लिस्ट नाउ लेट्स सी हाउ यू कैन सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम now can you solve this question within a 5 second trick if you watch my previous lecture you can easily solve that now what the student will do uh, i assume that the you all will do like you can draw the graph first equation and then you can draw the second second one and then solve but why there is a need of this there is no need of this you can solve like this way your target is to find the maximum value and definitely the maximum will be among out of these four so what you can do you can check firstly whether all are my feasible solution or not if no, some of them are not feasible you can discard the option look at the 6 plus 6 12 satisfied 6 30 is satisfied 4 5 5 is 30 less than 36 satisfied look at the 4 comma 8 4 plus 8 12 satisfied it's a 8 plus 24 which is not less than 32 so it means this option is cancel out because it is not feasible implies it is not optimal look at the 3 comma 3 6 is a 15 satisfied is a 15 satisfied 3 comma 8 11 satisfied is a 6 plus 24 satisfied is a 3 plus 32 is a satisfied so now from this i can got as a b a c d are one of the right answer now find the value of the z What is the value of the z at six comma six? It's my forty-two. Find the value of the z at three comma three seven twenty-one. The value of the z is at here is nine plus thirty-two is forty-one. So you can see what is the maximum value. A is my right answer of the problem. That's very simple. If you if you skip this one, it's a not a feasible. But if you substitute here, then you can see this is my forty-four. you may take about this answer but the right answer is 6 comma 6 is the right answer okay now look at the infimum uh, look at the infimum of this a very simple again you can solve this equation the roots are x minus 3 x minus 6 which is less than 0 less than 0 so now we all know whenever x minus alpha is less than of here then x is lies between alpha and beta so i can draw this graph this is 3 and 6 similarly from here i can see x minus 3 x minus 4 is less than 0 so i can say it's a 3 and 4 find the common portion is this one now out of these 3 and 4 which one is the infimum c is my right answer clearly say 2 is the wrong answer 5 is the wrong answer Four, this is my supimum but they are asking the infimum so the right answer is c is the right answer. now look at the integral equation a very simple you can again solve this question within a 10 second if you remember my shortcut tricks that i have explained you in my previous lectures of this py question series of the integral equation you can solve this question in a very simple manner what is that this is my kernel fine you can break this kernel into the two portion fine one is a function of the x only so this is e raised to power x second is a function of the t only fine i call this is my f i call this is my g now since i can change into the system of the equation ax is equal to b where a is 1 minus lambda times alpha 1 1 what is alpha 1 1 is integration of the domain the first one is for the function that is a f of x second one is for the g now that's over now can you solve can you find the alpha 1 1 f of x x square e raised to power x g of x so it's a e raised to power 2x now can you integrate this as i told you the previous shortcut tricks how you can solve this you can derivative them until it becomes a zero and on the right hand side you can integrate them until it becomes a parallel to this term then you can multiply this with a plus sign you can multiply this with a negative sign you can multiply this with the positive sign so e raised to power 2x will be common x square over 
minus x over 2 plus 1 over 4 over the 0 1. So, what is the right answer of this? e square 1 minus 1 will be cancelled, it is a 1 over 4. e raised to power 0 1, 1 over 4. So, right answer is e square minus 1 over 4. So, therefore, for the non zero solution, what is the meaning of this non zero solution? Determinant of a should be 0. That means 1 minus this should be 0. So, the value of lambda will be 1 over this value. So, e square minus 1 over 4. So, that is the right answer of this problem. You can see, it is a very simple, there is no need to solve this by integration of other this. You can simply use this simple approach. Fine. For more detail about this, you can simply watch my this previous lectures on this integral equation. You can learn many shortcut tricks about here. I will come up with the next lectures on the other questions. Till now, you can simply like, share and comment on my video. Best of luck students. Happy learning.